chard is a great one to grow, uh, very prolific. Uh, you can get an awful lot of crop from, from uh, only a single sowing. Okay. It's a wonderful vegetable, very easy, no pests, no diseases affecting it. Mm. Like perpetual spinach, one of those wonder vegetables. Yeah. Three plants will feed you throughout yeah. the year in okay. chard. And we maybe, what, what do you maybe two sowings a year? Two sowings a year, same thing again. Whenever yeah. I sow the perpetual spinach, I do that. Yeah. So mid-April and then again in June. Okay, Klaus, so show us how to sow the seeds. So we fill our seed tray again, nice and loose first, and then with a, just a big two, three taps to firm it in, cut the comp excess compost off, and then make holes in about two centimeters deep now because they're quite big seeds, so they can be sown a little bit deeper, two centimeters, fingernails depth. They're big seeds, so they're easily put in one seed in each cell. When you're finished, you put fine seed compost, overfill it again, and then scrape it off. And that's it, that's ready. You just water it in gently. Don't overwater. Overwatering is just as bad as underwatering because the seeds may rot away. And that's it. Right, here's our Swiss chard that's come up nicely there. Uh, Klaus, your one there has two. Can we just put that in or, or, or is that...? Oh, you'd, you'd be much better off removing one and snipping it off would be better than pulling it. Just plant one single plant. Yeah. And it, it's like with beetroot, each seed has got a cluster of seedlings yeah. on it. So and you're it, always going to get more, more than one coming up anyway. Yeah, yeah. And it's best to just plant one at a distance of a foot and a half, yeah. roughly. And okay. then you get nice big leaves. Yeah, all right. So and firm planting is essential. Right, lovely glossy uh, growth here of our, our Swiss chard. What trouble are we likely to have with it, if any? Nothing really. Yeah. No bother at all. Bolting, if you sow them too early, they might go into seed. Like, it's the variety. They go, the red ones, they bolt quicker than, Do than they? the white. Oh yeah, I always. I didn't know that, yeah, okay. Mm. So every week you can harvest and you just leave a certain amount of leaves in the middle and you always harvest from the outside. Right. In. And it's a down twist, so you hold your thumb and hand like that yeah. and then twist and see how nicely they come off okay, on the yeah. stem. Yeah. I think when you harvest you ha a plant, you have to, it's, it's partly respecting it too, you know, it's, mm. it's giving to you. Well, they, they'd be heavy feeders now, they wouldn't mind a, a top dressing of something. Yeah, Yeah. okay, well we'll, we'll give it a go of, um, yeah. of a bit of uh, poultry and seaweed manure. And we're just working that into the soil. Um, the Just rain, gently, yeah. Yeah, the rain will then wash down through it and, and bring the nutrients into the roots of the plant. Now, every week you will get a meal out of every plant yeah. of chard. Yeah, okay. Having three plants means you have to have three meals of chard per week. Okay. So you can't plant too much. and you have more than ho that. Hopefully you, you get used to it. It's quite a new vegetable for, for our climates, really. Mm, yeah. But it, it really deserves a much better place in, in the kitchen.